if you kiss someone, you could tell whether they're good in bed or not. Well, give me a kiss, find out. DMs, dating apps, I don't have time for that. I don't believe you should kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. I believe in grilling them. I'm going to be going on a series of dates to find who can really wow me. This is grilling. My name is Johnny Carey, and I'm here to go on a date. Do you know what I mean? Nothing wrong with a little flirt. Yeah, I can handle a grilling. Well, I think so anyway, we'll soon find out. Yeah, I feel like I'm confident. I mean, I'd happily go up to a girl in a bar, go chat to them. Man, no, I don't go on dates, you know. I rarely go on dates. What do you expect of a girl on a first date? Not to grill me. That's what I expect of a girl on a first date. Yes, I'm ready. Bring her in. What's happening, baby? Right. Hello. Nice to meet you, right? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Cheyenne. What's Cheyenne. yours? Johnny. Nice to meet you, Johnny. Nice to meet you. Yes, you're a salt. Can't lie. Yes, good looking girl. First white guy. <laughs> Where are you from? West London. West London? Yeah. You look like Essex boy. Do I? Everyone says that. You're yeah, not, not from Essex? No, not at all. My dad's a West London cockney. Bruv, I'm not from Essex. I don't know why everyone thinks I am, yeah, from West London, but fuck it, we'll roll with it. I don't think it's ever an insult, it's a compliment. Do you mm. want to be from Essex? No. You feel like? No. You're not trying it a bit? No, what do you think I'm trying it? Yeah. Why? I don't know, just the look. It's like a typical Essex look. What? A tracksuit? Yeah, like your hairstyle. Do you know what I think it looks good then? No, it looks alright. I'm the first white boy in here, aren't I? Yes, you are. Like white boys? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> she definitely don't. She's lying. Why am I here? I might as well cut. I like anyone. If you've got a nice vibe, yeah, then I'll I vibe with you. Yeah, you know? I, think I agree. Yeah, see, I knew she liked everyone. She's moving mad. That's a big bracket. Everyone's beautiful and everyone's right, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, you're looking good today yourself as well. Oh, thank you. You're looking all right. Cheers. Oh, it's cute. What's your type? From what you said at the start, it's going to shoot me in the foot, but I quite like an Essex girl. Do you? Yeah. I feel like you look after yourself well. I like someone with a good heart. I mean, nice girl. I don't like yeah. when girls are all bitchy. There's loads of girls that are bitchy. You just ain't got time for that. Why? Have you been with someone that's really bitchy? Girls are bitchy, aren't they? Mm. Have you had a serious relationship? I was in a four-year relationship. Yeah? A year and a half ago, we split up. Mm. Did you split on good terms, or? She just felt like love me. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. How did you deal with that? I oh, can't lie, I was bad. My mental health was What do you hard. mean by uh, I said I was depressed for two months. Yeah, I said I was. I was depressed for two months. Did you stop trying? No, you... no, no. It was a good relationship. Was good. I don't hate the girl at all. So how did you, as a young man, deal with heartbreak? I'm very a big advocate for like men's mental health and speaking about it because I, I suffer with mental health myself. I'd say maybe it was like two months. It f***ed my head. I was just locked in my room, weren't chatting to no one because I can talk about our feelings easy. I think it's more I don't want to be a burden to someone. Called up my pal, two of my pals, my closest and then spoke to them and after that I just kind of picked myself up. Good. Mm. I think it's good to talk to your powers man, especially if you're a boy, a lot of boys bottle it up. Listen, if you're going through science, chat to your power, or even chat to a girl about it. So I mean, it's better to get it off the chest. Honestly, like I really love it when a guy's able to open up and just be honest about his feelings and depression and the fact that he was been able to speak on it so openly, I think it's amazing. Have you ever had a one night stand? I've had one or two one-night stands, but I prefer it if I don't want a relationship, I don't want nothing serious. You don't want nothing serious? No. So what, you want to just start, start moving mad and just sleep with no, those women? No, don't, you don't have to move mad. I feel like if you're mature and you're an adult... Why if, are you looking at the table when you're saying this? I feel like, I feel like eye contact's mature, important. I, like I want to see mature, if you're lying. I'm not lying. I feel like if you're mature and you're an adult and you say to a girl from the get-go, look, I don't want nothing serious, this is, this is X, Y, Z, what I want. We're both adults, both can agree on it, both can have some fun. Do you know what I mean? When men say that, Women will eventually get attached. I would never trick a girl into bed though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't need a girl. And I've had it before when I've been talking to a girl. So you have done it before? No, I haven't. I said I've had it before when I'm talking to a girl. And obviously I just want something casual. So we're chatting now. It's maybe like a month in. And I've said to her, like from the get-go, just that you know, like, I don't want nothing serious. I don't want to get sticky with you. I don't want to hurt your feelings. She's then said, OK, cool. That's not what I want. You stop talking. I'm not going to just sleep with her just for that reason. We could both be on the same vibe. We've both grown. Would you say you're good in bed? Ah, here we go, here we go. I mean, I think so. You think uh, so? Yeah, girls have told me that uh, they think I am. Here we go again. They all say this. How many? What, how many girls have I slept with? Yeah. How many boys have you slept with? No, I'm asking you. No, so I'm you asking can't, you. You can't deflect it onto me. No, I see, I don't think that uh, information should be out there. Is it a lot? It's not even a mad number, it's actually not. 
I don't have that many one-night stands. I think I've had one or two one-night stands. I'm more like, uh, put it, friends of benefits. I think sex is better when it's like not just meaningless. Do you know what I mean? You don't yeah. just go chop a bird and then get out in the morning. I prefer it if you're going to have a little cuddle. Wait, did this mature man just say chop? How would you chat up a woman? Do you slide in the DMs? Nah, do you know what? I prefer it in like a real life situation. What have I done before? Just in a bar. So I've had one, two drinks. I'll go up and if there's a group of girls on the table and I think one of the girls is good looking, I'll go up and sit on their table and just introduce myself. So you just go sit on the table? Yeah. If he come up to you at a bar and start talking to you, what would you do? Oh, see, I, I don't want to sound judgmental. But if you come up to me in a bar, I just would kind of like, just, do you really just want to pat him on the head like, you're really cute. That's not a par. It's not a par though. <laughs> I don't mean in a par way. Or like go up to a girl chat to her in a bar. Like, I don't really like the whole DM thing. I feel like I've got no game over DM. Why, it's what's what, your game on DMs? It's, I ain't got one. Oh, <laughs> I agree. No game. I'd rather DM a girl, have one, two words, and I say, when am I seeing you? Or straight to her FaceTime. That is awful. How's that awful? Yeah, that's awful. Yeah, when, so just slide in, when am I seeing you? What do you prefer then? If, you prefer if, if, if you see my DMs and said, when am I seeing you? <laughs> you'd come and see me? You'd get Ed. You'd come and see no, me? No, you would definitely get Ed. Why? That there's no creativity that when So there has to be creativity, just write yeah. pick up lines then. Nah. Just don't come with that. Give me an example of how you'd want a boy to chat you up on DM. Firstly, I like a guy that does his research on me. Yeah. That sees what I'm interested in, just to show interest. Yeah. So then if they say, hi, I see that you do this, or mm. I like this, and um, I feel homeless a lot. So if they come along, yeah. give me the time and do something like that, then yeah. I know you're not just a piece of shit. So it makes you a piece of shit if you want to meet someone in real life and get to know No, life. it makes me a piece of shit like when you're coming in my DMs because you can tell the difference between a man that's just trying to sleep with you or a man that's trying to get to know you. Yeah, 100%. I agree because I'd tell a girl that. Tell I wouldn't lead a girl on. Mm. I mean, yeah, but you can say, how do I know you're not a talker? Because I feel like you're coming with that chat. You'd like have to talker. find out, wouldn't you? I don't know. I just prefer the old school type of way of chatting up a bird rather than Instagram and... I just think, I don't know, it bores me, that stuff. That Go and chat me up. I am chatting you up. Would you say so? Would, would you say this is successful? I don't know. You're grilling me. You're here to grill me, ain't you? <laughs> That's what we're here for. Do you want to be in Beta Squad? You know what? They're all my good, good, close friends. And if they invited me in, yeah, I, just, I don't think I could join. They're like a solid group, do you know what I mean? Nico's in Beta Squad, isn't he? Yeah. What's your relationship like with him? It's actually good. I've known him for about seven years now. Really? Yeah. Seven years? Mm. So, how did you feel about that prank? <laughs> Oh, that's water under the bridge now. But at the time, I was pissed. He, have you seen the video? Yeah. Yeah. So I saw it. Video, I was like, oh my God, I wanted to give you a Mercedes at that point. <laughs> yeah, so in the video, it kind of was played out like it was over the course of like a week or something. But what made it worse was it was actually like two, two months, something like that, two months. So I was processing in my head, okay, yeah, cool. I'm getting this deal. And it wasn't even about the money, it was more... I was a smaller YouTuber at the time and I'm getting a deal with Virgin Records. It's like, oh my God, this is like a big yeah. step. So it was kind of like, yeah, it fucked me up a lot. Yeah. Does it give yeah. you trust issues now? With him, yeah, he knows I don't trust yeah. him. <laughs> I don't trust him fully, but that's because he's a prankster though. Like, he'll, he'll do it to anyone, like, he's, he's a prankster. But he meant it within, with good intent. He even says nowadays, like, I was with him the other day, I was having a curry, and he even said to me that that is the biggest life lesson he's had is doing that prank on me. Yeah. He realised that, oh shit, as soon as he'd done it, he realised, oh, like, I took it too far. So how, how did you actually deal with that? Like, as in man to man, how did you guys get... Oh, he fell out. Yeah. Yeah, I, did, I didn't want to be his boy. Yeah, I didn't speak to him for time. And then he just sent me the link to the video and he was like, just watch this for me. He said, if you don't want it out, I won't put it out. I watched it and I saw it was all lighthearted and it was all good. But in my head, I thought, this, he's trying to cancel me. Like, this geezer's trying to just make me yeah. look like some money hungry prick. But I watched it and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, you can put that out. It's all good heart, but yeah. You went on locked in, didn't you? Yeah. How was that for you? It was weird, but it was good. Why was it weird? 40 cameras around the house watching you 24 seven. I remember I woke up and there was a camera literally right there in my face. As soon as I woke up, it's pointing at me. So imagine what that's like. Yeah. So it was weird, but yeah, I won it. So that's a good thing. Oh, did you win? Yeah, I won. But even if I didn't win it, it was, it was a good experience, good people. Um, obviously Foot Asylum, they're a wicked brand. They uh, make you feel comfortable all the way through. Yeah, I'm glad I did it. 100% nice. glad I did it. Johnny, when did you last have sex? Oh, this is mad. Um, December. With the person you're seeing? No, I'm not seeing anyone. I thought you said you like to like... Yeah, but I don't class it as seeing. Oh, like, see? It's casual sex, isn't it? No, oh, see? This... So how many people do you sleep with? Do I sleep with? Yeah. I think that's my business, isn't it? No, but <laughs> I'm just asking you. Just, just... I know you're asking me. So how many? 
what you mean? Do I sleep with more than one girl at a time? Yeah, so how many people have yeah. you slept with in a week? Yeah. So in one week, what's the maximum amount of women you've slept with? Do I, wanna, I don't know if I want to be saying that. Why? <laughs> what? She wants me to answer these questions on big, big YouTube? Nah, these are mad, no chance. It's private information. I might shoot myself in the foot. Why? Because I just might. Why would I want to be saying that out loud? Do you have like a different woman for every day of the week then? No, no. I don't move mad like that. I actually don't move mad like that. But yeah, I do. I would sleep with more than one girl at a time. But they'd know full well. They'd be sleeping with other boys at, at a time. Do you wear condoms? I like to think I do. You were having sex and not wearing condoms? Yeah, it feels shit though, doesn't it? Do you not think it feels shit? Yeah, but how, you need to practice safe sex and also... You... Yeah, I'm not. I've used a condom before, obviously. If they want to use a condom, I'm never going to argue against it, ever. The more time they say no, I just pull out. Oh my God. Bruv, this girl was bare picky, you know? What gives you the ick then? This is so stupid, it's so stupid. If we're in bed, yeah, and you put your socks on. What? <laughs> yeah, if we're sleeping together, you put your socks on, nah. What would be like year 10, with your socks on, get your feet out, man. <laughs> Do you like feet then? I ain't got a fetish, but yeah, I can appreciate good feet. Have you ever sucked toes? Uh, not in a sexual way, but yeah. So you have? Yeah, if I've been fucking a girl and her legs are up there and I'm feeling yeah. dirty, I might stick it in my mouth. Yeah, say so over chest then, yeah. so yeah. you suck toes. Yeah, all right, I suck toes. <laughs> yeah, see, it's what we want. I don't mind the guy that sucks toes. At least he admits it. I like that foot massage. But I actually ain't got a foot fetish. You just like sucking them? No, I don't like sucking them, but you know what? It's just dirty, innit? Like, if we're sleeping together and your legs are up there and I'm just. Yeah, then I'll put it in my mouth, but I'd never just out the blue or grab your foot and start sucking it like for. Nah, that, that's not a bit of me. So would you say you're dirty? Yeah, I'm dirty but vanilla, I think. What's the dirtiest thing you've done? I've had tongue up my ass, finger up my ass, I've licked ass. Uh, I suppose that's dirty, isn't it? Yeah, it's dirty. Oh, he's coming out of your show, isn't he? Mm, what are you? Do you like a finger up your ass? No. You I'm not dirty, do. actually. You're not dirty? No. Don't like a tongue up your ball? No, I've got a halo on my head. You've never had a tongue up your ball? No. Bruv, she is. Definitely had a tongue in her arse. She's lying if a geezer ain't been down there and played with her bottle. Or why she's got something smelly down there. I don't know, maybe that's between her and herself, but definitely. Have you licked her then? No. All right, cool. Cool. Stop. What? I don't believe you. What do you want out of life? Success. So what's your dream? And I haven't got a family yet, but we had to just have my family comfy. When I earn money now, it sounds such a tapped mindset to have. I have this mindset in the back of my head of, oh, I've got to stack it, not for me. But for my future wife and kids, it makes no sense. I'm 23, I don't plan on having kids for a long time. But I don't want to have a wife and kids and I'm broke. I've got nothing Stability. to fall back on. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes sense. It's mm. like creating generational wealth. Mm. So your kids and your grandkids and your yeah. family are set. Yeah. Obviously, I like it when a girl has drive, uh, but I don't give a fuck how much money you earn. As long as you've got drive and you've got some sort of thing in life, then I find that attractive. Like, yeah. I don't mind providing for you, as long as you're not a bum. What would be your ideal relationship? Would you want a woman that was traditional and stayed at home looking after the kids? I don't think it has to be like that. It's like I'd never make a girl pay for the first date, even a second date, or I wouldn't make you pay for anything until we're maybe six months into a relationship, then we could start splitting bills. But even then, like, I'll pay for it happily. It's just, if you're offering, cool. Fair enough. If the girl doesn't offer, that's more of like a turn off. Okay. Mm, that's a red flag. Like, if you don't even offer to pay the bill, like, I'm gonna pay it anyway. But like, if that little, yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? The I consideration. Just, yeah, because you expect me to pay it. Like, it just makes me think, oh, I'm not gonna pay it then. But what about you? When was the last time you had sex? Ages ago. Ages ago. You're not getting dug out every week now. No. No. Do I look like I am? Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? I don't know you well enough yet. Well, no, I'm not. There's nothing wrong with that, though. You're no, a grown nothing... woman. Can yeah. Sex. There's nothing wrong with that, mm. but just no for me. Why is that? I'm just not on it. Why? Because I'm trying to work. <laughs> Yeah, I've got goals and things I want to achieve. Well, that's good. You still can let some stress off. No. And let off some steam. No, listen. Do you just... watch porn? No, I don't. How can she say she don't watch porn? Bruv, she's lying. She's lied about her arsehole getting played, and now she's lying about watching porn. She's a liar. She's got me now. I've come in and being honest, and she's just lying. Do you? I used to, but I just find it boring now. What porn do you watch? Standard. What's standard? I don't watch it, so I don't know what standard is. Ah, you don't watch porn, you're lying. I swear to God, I don't. Do you play with yourself? Yeah, so what do you do at all? I don't... Your thoughts? I'm, I'm creative. Your thoughts? You're creative? Mm-hmm. What would you look at, do? Look at a paint drying on the wall? No. What? Give My me imagination. Job. Yeah, so that's what I just said. What about you? What, do you, what porn do you watch? What porn I watch? Standard. Just men and women. Missionary. No, no, I like... I would skip it to the bit where they're giving head. Don't know why. I think that's a bit of a fetish of mine. Oh, really? It's not really a fetish because it's a normal thing, but yeah. Do you go down on women, though? Yeah. Yeah, I love eating pussy. Did he just say he eats pussy? Black guys? Take note. Yeah, that's a minor, bruv. I'll be down there for like, if, it, if it's good 
and I think it was short and you got nice pussy, I'll be down there for a good 45 minutes. I can't even lie. I enjoy doing it. I happily say that. Oh, see, I think, I think white guys. See? That's what we're doing. Yeah, see, I told you she fancies me, bro. She's hiding it for the cameras. She's got to grill me, do you know what I mean? She's got a job. I mean, sometimes it's not always Are the you best. good at it, though? Well, I personally think I am, and, and from what my experience is, yeah, I, I'll comfortably really say that. Right, what's your technique? What's my technique? Yeah. yeah. Help, help them. The people need to know. I'm mad if you think I'm just showing you what I do. Go on, show me. No, nah, I'm Go good. on, I'll get you an orange or something. Go on, show me your technique, how you get brain. I don't. You don't your brain? No. So you don't give head, but you expect me to have done on you? Mm hmm. <laughs> don't work like that. Why? So don't work like that. If it's my bird, it work like that. Well, no, don't yeah, if it's my man, it will. So you only give your man head? Yeah. See, so you're a hypocrite. How am I a hypocrite? Because you expect to get eaten out, but you won't. No, go but I don't. Way. You don't expect if it? If I'm with you, then. So if you step with a boy, you don't do this whole casual thing, whatever. But say you're seeing someone, go on a date, whatever. Yeah, then we're seeing. We're seeing each other. Okay, yeah, but... But I'm not going to just do it if I've just had sex. Like, if we've just met, Yeah. we're not doing it. So you don't agree with sex on the first date? No, of course you can. Yeah. Do you think you can make me come? 100%. So you're not going to tell me your technique, but you're telling me you can? You want me to demonstrate how I lick a girl out? Yeah. Nah. Go on. But I'd be down there for long. Oh, go on, just demonstrate with fingers. Nah. Go on. <laughs> nah. Would you ever sleep with your boy's ex? No way. Not in a million years. What if she was really unreal? No. Uh, really unreal? No, I couldn't give a f One of my pals, he was chatting to this girl, and at the time when he was showing me pictures of her and stuff, I thought, oh my God, she's like a rocket. Like, ever since he got with her, the attraction like that completely goes. It's like my sister now. I mean, I never ever in a million years think about doing that. That's my boy. Like, no way. Even if I was in a room and my boy's ex come in naked, lingerie, anything, nah, I'm walking straight out of there and I'm telling him. That's good. Mm. Yeah, you're dominant. Yeah. In what way? I like things on my terms. I like to be in that's control. That's quite sexy, I can't lie. I like to be in control. So mm. I'd say you're submissive then. Do you know what? I'm submissive with head, that's it. He is definitely submissive. Yeah, I don't even like. I don't really like a girl getting on top. I find it a bit boring. I'd rather be the one that's like slinging your back the gaff. Do you know what I mean? I, I like to be the one that's bending you over, like all this stuff. But when it comes to head, yeah, I, I'm completely submissive. I can't lie. Are you strong? Yeah, I like to think so. Strong enough to pick a woman. Yeah, up? I'll pick you mm. up. <laughs> no. no, would you not? I'm on good terms with my ex. Like, I don't have no bad blah blah blah. But I wouldn't want to be friends with her. Just, I feel like they're an ex for a reason. And I mean, unless you both mutually have said, oh, listen, it's both ain't working for both of us, let's just be friends. Cool, then, that, then I see it like that. But if it's just one person's left for whatever reason, then uh, why are you going to be friends with your ex? Yeah, I'm, I'm friends with my ex. Are you? How did you break up? Just when you just fall out of love with someone. Both of you are. Like, when I say friends, we're not exactly like, oh my God, best friends. Yeah, exactly, that's what but, I mean. But, like, we'll, we'll actually will go for food. Like, we'll go for Nando's and have a catch-up every few years. Are you, have you been seeing anyone since? Yeah, I've met, I've, I was seeing someone after him. Yeah, now, if you was my girl, you're not going out for dinner with your ex. Dinner with her ex? What am I, a dickhead? Why, though? You're not. If I was with you... Yeah, but it's you, not dinner, it's like Nando's, just said, it's casual. You're still eating. Yeah, but I, for me, I, I find it... So mad that... Well, tell me it's insecurity, that's, that's what you're going to say. No, I'm not going to say that it's an insecurity. What? But at the same time, there's a small bit of insecurity there. Anyone that knows me personally, mm. they know the type of person that I am. Mm. So there's no reason to not trust me. So for me, mm. it's not why I justify that I go out and meet up my ex. Like, I don't have to. Yeah. But I just have a relationship there because, you know, we went through a lot together. Yeah. And even just with it, like, he helped me for a really dark time in my life. Yeah. So for me, it just would be a shame to not catch up and just say like, hey, yeah, no, I hear what you're saying, but don't you feel like if your man wasn't okay with it, your loyalty should lie with him? No, of course it's gone. I'm not going to then be like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, I'm choosing yeah. cool, my cool, ex. Cool, cool. Like, yeah, cool. standard, obviously. If my you're single, man. I get it, I get it. You can do what you want. But I feel like if you're in a relationship and someone was uncomfortable with that, then, yeah, if, if it's like an odd text, happy birthday text, I mean, then little check up how you are, cool, I'm all right with that. But like, yeah, meeting up and going for drinks and dinner and that, nah. Do you? Yeah. I'm growing in it, so if it was... So if you're growing, why'd you care? Because if it was mad... That's childish. Like, if she'd been dug out by every Tom, Dick and Harry, then... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but why is it an issue? Because I think it is. Because I have respect for myself. I have standards. So why are you going out and being all... Just getting dug out by everyone? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But that's fine. As long as your opinion is, like, the same, because you have to mm. come with the same energy. No, yeah. If you can't sleep with like a hundred women, no. then be mad for women if she wants to sleep with a hundred no, men. No, no, hundred percent. I, I, no, I do have casual sex. So I mean, I don't have nothing serious. But I like to think, I've had like two 
one or two drunk on one night stands that I don't really think that's my standard. But other than that, I feel like I've always kept the standard and I, always, I wouldn't just sleep with a girl just for the shag. I think that's sad and that's cringe when boys are just like, oh yeah, let me just get my body count up. Yeah, please. I think that's just insecure. So what, what is your thoughts on that? Like in your friendship group, like how do you respond if your friends are being really laddish and like, oh, I've <laughs> slept with this woman or I've done this? What, if they're bragging about sleeping with a girl? Yeah. That's just boys though, isn't it? Like this is the toxic... Nah. That's the behaviour in like society where it's creating such a divide and an issue for women to be able to be liberated. So you're telling me if you slept with a boy who you really liked and you're seeing him, you don't then give a little bit of info to your girls? Yeah, if I was excited. Exactly then, so you just... No, but we don't like praise each other. For example, like men will be like, oh, like another one and really praise it. I wouldn't praise my friends for just having sex, but if it was a really attractive girl, yeah, I'm spudding him. Do you know what I mean? You've done well, bruv. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not toxic, it's more, oh yeah, have you nicked that? That's fair play. I, I couldn't give a f about body count. If some boy came up to me and said, yeah, I've got 150 bodies, so who cares? But I think it's better, like, if you had you slept with 10 girls that were actually, like, sorts, rather than 150 just random chicks. That's yeah. much more like, oh, my days, like, yeah, okay. There's nothing wrong with girls that aren't 10s. No, but everyone's a 10 in someone's eyes. Exactly. That's what I mean, but some girls just might not be in my eyes. Yeah, yeah, it's standard, isn't it? Yeah. Would you <laughs> fart around someone who weren't your uh, boyfriend? Yeah. Do you want to let one off now? I don't need to fart. Don't need to fart? No. <laughs> no. Would you? Yeah, I think, do you know, I think being in a relationship makes you kind of realise who gives a fuck. I think, do you know, if I, if I link a girl and she's never been in a proper relationship, I might hold back having a fart, you know what I mean? Because she might be like, ugh. But if she's been in a relationship and she's had a boyfriend, I know her boyfriend's farted around her, like, so, yeah. I'm liar. Why a liar. am I a liar? She's a liar. Bruv, she's a liar. Surely, like, you've experienced that. But a massage? It's not even that deep for a girl, that's the thing. Yeah, I like a massage. Boys get insecure when they talk about, oh, you had your arsehole plated. Yeah, so what? Um, How's that feel? It's all right. All I, right. I, I, I went with it all the time. It's like a little treat, isn't it? A treat? <laughs> yeah. I mean, only if I was with you, though. I wouldn't go with some random girl down there. Do you know what I mean? It's got, that's like a, that's like a boundary you've got to cross. <laughs> <laughs> What is your favourite sex position? Sleepy sex. Do you know what that is? No. And only on the side like this, yeah. Oh, and that, when you're spooning. Yeah, because you've got your arm under there, you've got a boob in your hand, so you've already got a tit in your hand, yeah? And you can have the arse there as well. So you've got best of both. How's the arse there? Because you're like that. Wait, the, her tits are there? No, no, no. So she's on her side like this, yeah? Yeah. I put my arm under her head, so your boob's there. Yeah. And my leg's here, your arse is there. Yeah, it's so on the side, <laughs> yeah? Right. And plus, it's, it's, it's a. You get a free, free, free bonus, look. So you get to kiss them, they're right there. You get a boob in your hand, and you get arse, or you can play with a clip. Do you know what I mean? It's best of both worlds. Ah. So, yeah. That's your favourite, yeah? <laughs> I say they're not there, because it don't take a lot of effort. You just lay there. So you lay in bed? No, I'm really not. I'm really you not. You just said that was your favourite. Yeah, but when I've been, do you know what I mean, going out a long session, and I need a fucking break because I'm dripping with sweat, like, I like to just... I don't really like girls getting on top. I don't know why, I just ain't a big fan of girls getting on top. What's your favourite sex position? Um, missionary. Missionary, why? Me on top. Missionary, you on top. Is that called missionary then? Yeah. That's it's standard, girl, isn't it? Sure, that's cowgirl. Yeah, when you reverse. Yeah, but that's reverse cowgirl. That's not point in the name. <laughs> Do you have a good credit score? Yeah, I think so. So you're good with money? I mean, I spunk a lot of dough. So you're not good with money? No, I am. I, I tuck a lot away, but I do spunk a lot. You've got to live in you, especially last year. Coming out of lockdown and everything. I, I think I was out every weekend from April, Friday, Saturday, and sometimes I go to Reagan on Sunday. What? <laughs> Swear down. Yeah. So would you say you're like a party boy? Yeah, but I'm a homebody as well. Like, this new single life is new to me, innit? And I don't even mean in a way I'm just out here moving mad, chopping bare girls. It's not even that. But I mean single as... I've never been free from anyone's word. Like, I can go out on a Friday, end up staying at my pal's house until Saturday. Like, there's no one telling me what to do, do you know what I mean? So I'm kind of riding the buzz for now. Was you raised on love or survival? No, I was raised on love. My yeah? mum and dad are good. Yeah, my mum and dad are together. Um, I'd never say I, was, I, I weren't rich. But I weren't poor. It was just average, three bedroom house, comfortable. We was all right. Yeah, we done, we done all right. Do you know what I mean? Do you think with your parents being together, mm. it's given you an advantage to the way you see women? Because I think you seem quite respectful. Thank you. So do you think that's influenced the way you treat women? Uh, maybe you know. You know, my dad is my mum's first ever boyfriend, and they've been together since. Oh, I love that. Yeah, they've been together like 
How many years? I don't even know if it's not like 30 or something. It's maybe more. I don't know. Do you know what? It's a breath of fresh air. Like, you can tell that he's a traditional man. The fact that his parents were together, it says a lot about a man. So he's influenced right. So ticking a few boxes here, Johnny boy. I think maybe getting in a relationship from a young age as well. I got with her when I was 18 and then she moved in two months later. I just respect women. I just don't know why he wouldn't, to be honest. What would you do if I had slept with two of your friends? We was just sleeping together or... We were together. We was actually together. So we now, you've been my girlfriend, you haven't told me this information. Or well, my friends haven't. First of all, they're snakes. If they ain't told me that, that, they know I'm getting serious with you and they haven't said, yo, listen, I've chopped that. And you haven't told me as well. That's a big red flag. Listen, she's moving mad. She hasn't told me. But it's even more snaky that my boys ain't told me. Do you know what I mean? We're scrapping. If we were just sleeping together, cool. I'd run it by my powers, yo, can I... Would you care if I slept with her? Cool, but if not, if you're my girlfriend, no way. What would you do if I asked to see your DMs right now? No. Nah. Why? What? Look for my phone, you're not my girl. I've known you about 10 minutes, you wanna go for my phone? Nah, no chance. If a girl follows me and I follow her and I think she's fit, I'll save her to the saved, just in case I bump into her the night out. I won't DM her, <laughs> won't DM her. Cause I feel like when I DM a girl, it doesn't go nowhere. We talk for like two weeks and it gets dry. Yeah. Whereas if I see you in real life, I feel like I'm just, more the vibes more there isn't yeah it? yeah i can read you like if i go up to a girl on a night out and i can tell within the first five minutes if you like me or not if you don't call cool, enjoy your night what would you do if my ex was after you why would he be after me maybe just he was really obsessed with me we're now together i just say like listen respectfully i'm now with you, you know what i mean it's obviously a problem you've got with yourself so i mean if if it, if it comes and i have to deal with it i have to deal with it but yeah it's just it's just long in it if you're chasing me over my girl, which is your girl, probably you need to grow up, to be honest. What would you do if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? Nah. Why? Nah. What? You're with me and you've got OnlyFans? Yeah, nah, can't run. What's your thoughts on OnlyFans? Listen, girls, you wanna go get your money, go do it, go hustle. But if you're my girlfriend, I wanna be the only person that's seen you naked. What about if I got put into prison for five years? It depends how far down the line was. If we right. was together, like I'd say, like six years and think about marriage and all that shit, like then yeah. But if we've been together maybe six months, then we'd have to weigh up the, the options. You know what I mean? So okay, then you could wait, but then would you wait and be loyal? If I was, if I decided to wait, yeah, I would 100% be loyal. Really? So 100%. If you was my wife or something, I'd 100% be loyal. Yeah, obviously you have to if it's your wife. We well, don't have to. Girlfriend. People don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. What about if I didn't want to sleep with you for the first six months of our relationship? For relationship. Six months, that's half a year. Obviously sex isn't everything, but imagine like you was talking, imagine I was talking to you, yeah, and we really got on, really got on. And then obviously I waited the six months and then we get in the bedroom and it's just dead, because that can happen. Some people just don't have chemistry in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Now we have to sleep with each other for the rest of our lives. Do I really want dead sex for the rest of my life? Like I said, it's not the only thing, but like, yeah, no. Nah. But I think you can like eventually get used to each other's bodies, no? I'm not saying bodies, I'm just saying some people just, don't, don't go well, well together in bed. You, you can tell by a kiss. No, you can't. No, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. If you kiss someone, you could tell whether they're good in bed or not. No, I don't think you can. Trust me. What do you mean, kiss? Find out. Would you not kiss on the first date? Yeah, I'd kiss on the first date. Do you want to sleep with someone on the first date? Yeah, I would. Oh, you would? If I, if I felt the vibe, mm. but most time, no. Actually, no, no, no. So you won't wait? No, I wouldn't wait. No. Oh, he's doing so well. What if I want to involve other people in our sex life? And you're my girlfriend? Yeah. Why? Nah. If I was just sleeping with you and uh, you wanted to get a girl in the bedroom, yeah, happily. So what if I was like, oh, we can bring another woman, babe? No, nah, I want to get grilled for this, but I feel like that'd be weird. Because if I'm with you, then I've got feelings for you, I'm in love with you, if we're deep down the line. I'm going to get grilled for this, but I'm not even going to want to be sleeping with another girl. And just letting you see it, it's just going to fucking come back on me. I know there's going to be an argument about it further down the line. Oh yeah, I know when you're, you know, you prefer that to me. Like, it's going to be an argument, you know what I mean? Yeah. If your that was a really good answer. If your boyfriend yeah, said, let's bring another man in the bedroom, would you? No. What reason? When it comes to a point when it's two men, it's not fun. Men do this weird ego thing in general, like sex aside with each other, like it's this ego thing where they're constantly competing. So imagine <laughs> being in bed with two men, you're just going to get like annihilated. What about if your friends were liking my selfies? Yeah, they're your friends as well. If we're it's together, you know I mean, I go out all the time with my pals and girlfriends, not just me and them. Yeah. Like, we go up as a friendship group. So I like my pals and girlfriends thing, it's nothing. How do you think you've done today? Eight. Eight's quite high. Yeah, I know. You're confident? Yeah.
Okay. And would you go on a second date with me? Do you want to go on a second date? Yeah, I'll go on a second date with you. Maybe we'll go on one. Mm, we'll see. Listen, I know she wants to go on a second date with me. She gave me a little maybe, but she's paying up for the cameras. As soon as they go off, watch. She's coming on a date with me. It was a good date, you know. Better than I expected. Were you not expecting too much? No, my expectations are low. I think it went all right. Like I said, her intentions were to grill me, but behind the eyes, I reckon, I reckon she enjoyed the date. Would you see Johnny again? Of course, he loves Essex, doesn't he? So. Would you see her again? Yeah, maybe. Depends. If she comes out with a different attitude, then yeah. But he handled the grinning well. I think I handled it well. I mean, I think I was on the defence at the start a lot because I thought, okay, she's gonna all guns blazing. But yeah, I mean, I don't think she could really grill me that well. To be honest with you, there wasn't anything that made me think, oh. Well, based on the fact that she went eh at white guys, I'm already taking two points off my score. Um, so, and I think I smashed everything off, so we're gonna give myself an eight. <laughs> I'm gonna give Johnny a seven. 